CBS News travel editor Peter Greenberg has been reporting on this story for years. Peter, good morning. Good morning, Nora. So what do you make of this new ruling? Well, there's no disputing the fact that the Continental Airlines plane did drop that piece of metal. No disputing the fact that the Concorde hit it. But there's overwhelming evidence, and has always been overwhelming evidence, there were other factors involved. For example, this particular plane was overweight. It was overloaded. Its center of gravity was affected. It was overfueled. The tires on this plane were marginal at best. In fact, there were multiple cases of complete tire disintegrations over the history of the Concorde that had never been fixed. It was missing a key component part of its landing gear on the nose. They didn't even find that until two days after the crash in a hangar. The Air France mechanics had forgot to replace it. And then there were two other factors, Nora. Right before this plane pushed back from the gate, it was already running an hour late. The pilot wanted to go. He was informed by the tower that the wind velocity and direction had suddenly changed on the runway he wanted. It was suddenly now a tailwind. He ignored them and decided he was going to take off into a tailwind. No pilot does that. And then last but not least, as Mark Straussman reported, when that wing caught fire from the engine and they got into the air, they're only about 400 feet. When the fire warning lights came on in the cockpit, the flight engineer, without ever talking to the pilot, reached over and shut down that engine. And then their fate was sealed. When that plane crashed into the hotel, the supersonic Concorde was actually traveling at only 74 miles an hour. And yesterday's ruling also found that the Concorde had been left in service for too long due to political uh, pressure. Do you think it was ready to fly? Well, no plane is too old to fly as long as it's properly maintained. But it's been reported there are a number of safety features that could have been implemented, that were available to be implemented, that were not done. So it's not about age of a plane, it's about maintenance. And in this case, maintenance does come into question. Peter, were all these factors present during the trial? They were, and that's the key part of this. The French investigators chose to ignore one key component part here, eyewitnesses. There were a number of eyewitnesses. The president of France's pilot, uh, I mean, he was at 747 watching this take off. He saw it. An American Airlines pilot saw it, and then a number of French airport firemen saw it. Now, they all saw it, Charlie, from the same, at the same time, from different vantage points, but they all saw the exact same thing. And what did they see? Smoke and fire coming from the plane before it could have ever hit that metal strip. That should tell you something. All right, Peter Greenberg, once again, hanging out in airports. That's why we have you on. Thank you, Peter.